Today we're at Premier Atelier, our hair salon, and we're doing the hair makeovers and cosmetic makeovers on all of our rookie candidates. I'm really excited because I, I love getting my hair done. I mean, what girl does it? No, no change in you. Maybe not too drastic, but whatever. I think you could go darker. Darker? Definitely, yeah. I mean, she's still going to be, for me, considered a blonde, but it's not a bleach blonde. It's not like the level 10. I think it'd be great. Blonde. I think it'll make your eyes pop. just have somebody sitting there almost crying with red hair. I mean, that was never, we never even talked about red hair. And maybe we pushed it, but we added a little bit more uh, gold to it, and it turned out to be a little bit too reddish. So right now we're still working on her. Leah was actually at the salon for close to eight hours and went through several different processes. It has taken longer than we expected, and we've had to kind of retract some things and start over. Well, absolutely, I made her eyes pop. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like it. It's a big difference, but I love it. She's had some moments in our dance studio of blending, and I think this might change her destiny. Makeovers are intended to help the rookies develop their best look. I would define it as a soft glamour. Mom, maybe we want to enhance it a little bit. We can put like a toner on it. I'm a little nervous about today. I've never really done anything with my hair and never done anything with my face. Have you ever had short hair? No, I never have. Well, you're going to have it today. Really? I'm going to cut it right there. My name is Rainer Schneck. I'm the artistic director of Premier Atelier. Instead of red, we need a few more like girls with dark hair. So we're gonna color it really black. <laughs> I was like, wow. Your heartbeat went up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did. It was, it was beating pretty fast. <laughs> makeover is sending the girls to Planet Tan to give their skin a golden glow all year long. Three, two, one. The tan can make a difference when you're just kind of looking at a girl in a uniform. It's like a bikini and we all know we look better with the tan when you've got that much skin showing. How are you, sweetie? Good. Teeth used to be a real problem. If somebody had problem teeth, we wouldn't pick them. And now we can fix it. For me to be able to have braces on the back of my teeth has been the most amazing thing in the world because I'm actually able to improve my smile and just feel so much better about myself. I'll see you probably in about a month. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh -huh. in the mirror after the makeover was done, I thought, wow, it's such a transformation. I feel like I'm looking at an entirely different person. Before, my hair was long and straight and kind of boring. And so now I feel like I'm one step closer to hopefully becoming a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. I'm very happy. It turned out wonderfully. I've never looked better, and I almost teared up when I saw it in the mirror. So I'm very, very pleased with my makeover. We're in week three, and all the training camp candidates get a makeover because we are wanting to find their best look. We will begin with hair and makeup adjustments. Kelly called me into her office last time to talk about getting my nails cut down and getting my hair cut. She said that my hair and nails and stuff remind her of a stripper. Hi, Brady. Hello. How are you? Makeover for one of the girls can really make or break them. Yeah, she needs a big makeover, huh? We're gonna cut it kind of like that, in that direction. I was about to cry. It just made me so nervous. That's such a drastic change, and I just was not ready for that. You take all this off, bring it up to about here, and then we're gonna put some blonde in it. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> we're just playing with you. We're not gonna cut your hair off. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at you. 
She's just going to need a little bit taken off just the top portion here and then tilt back for me a little bit and under here because yes. they kind of look like commas. Yeah. Look like <laughs> Come off the top. I do have really thick eyebrows and I need a little makeover so it'll be fun. Jordan, you're one of our special projects. She has blenditis right now. She's mm -hmm. blending in the room. And she needs something more vibrant in her hair. Because when we did this, it's, oh wow. Yeah. It's kind of sexy. Look, it's kind of awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I'm game. I'm ready. <laughs> They're going to make me look beautiful. You can see she's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl. I'm loving it. People who surround feel the benefit. I'm excited to see what it'll look like. Suddenly I see No one's gonna recognize me when I go back home. I'm very happy with the look. I think it looks much prettier. I like it. It's always fun to dress up and put makeup on. I'm a girl. Your eyebrows, they look awesome. They open up your eyes and make them look bigger. So I like it a lot. Any tea. She's gonna stand out now. I feel like a movie star right now. I feel more like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, I really do. Week four starts with makeovers, so all of our rookie candidates come through the salon and we do hair consultations, makeup consultations, really focus on their look and establishing their best look. I'm so excited, right. I just can't even wait. Yeah. The thing I want you not to do is tan more than you right now. My worst nightmare probably if they cut my hair short, like chin length level. What I want to do with you is I want to cut your hair about right here. And I think we're gonna really bring it up a little shorter. When you went here, <laughs> there was a moment where she got cute. Yeah. <laughs> right there, that's Always how she face. is dancing. Haircut wise, I mean, we wanna definitely trim it up a little bit. Wow, you're a natural blonde. I don't know what I've been doing, trying to figure out well, what looks good. <laughs> I can't Let's that. leave it to the professionals now. Yeah. <laughs> going to have the makeover this year. I was a little bit nervous because last year Kelly told me that I reminded her a bit of a stripper. I'm trying to stay positive and trust that they will make me look the best that I can look. What I think we should do with you is I think we need to go darker and just blow dry your bones straight. I've never been to this fancy of a salon before, so this is a great experience for me. Zoe's going red. <laughs> the actual color that I'm using on you is called Blazing Brown. Yeah. I feel like I look like an alien. <laughs> I know you won't admit it, so I'm gonna break it down. I cross the street and hear beep beep and traffic slows down. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. What do you think? Wow. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. Yeah. I love the dark. The most challenging uh, makeover today was Megan Martinez. And I think we achieved probably 80%. It's wow, it's a huge difference. This is a big surprise to me. It's almost like I look like a different person. Giving me more of the DCC look, more of a clean and polished and classy look, makes me feel one step closer to being a DCC, so I think it's a winner. She doesn't look like a stripper anymore. <laughs> no more. How are you, bro? Uh, Stephanie. Uh, Today is our makeover day, and I try to do the makeovers pretty early in training camp so that we can see if our intuition was right. 
So the girls will have a makeover with their hair, their makeup, their teeth, and we even give them a spray on tan. I mean, some of the girls come out of here, wow and that's gonna help them make the team. So this is kind of an important part of the process and it needs to be done early on so we can see potential. You need to bring a little bit more uh, definition in your hair. Okay. Just so when you dance, we have a different colors showing up instead of just one solid blonde. Sometimes girls don't need a, a major a makeover. Sometimes they just need adjusting their own look a little bit. Your hair, we can definitely put some low lights in and it's not gonna look like too stripy. You know, we can actually give the girls that edge that you know they maybe wouldn't have otherwise. I think we need to go like really dark. You know, Perry dark. Cut it like in, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. To be honest, I'm nervous. I don't really know if I have a say in anything. I mean, I would like to stay a redhead, but if they think something else would look better, then that's what I have to do. And then cut it like really, like almost like in a ball, mm -hmm. and give her just a total different look. You're trying to make me cry. <laughs> Why? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I would tell you that's the only way you make the team. And I have to do it? All right. <laughs> this is the fun part of being in training camp. You know, they're getting a lot of glamour with a great artistic team, like a model would in New York or an actress would in Hollywood. I feel like a celebrity right now. to chop off my hair and make it black and spiky. I think I could rock it. I mean, I got a little punk in me. I think these makeovers can make difference for the girls' attitudes in rehearsals because they're, you know, they're all complimenting each other and they're all, wow. And even when they go back into the studio and the veterans see them, you know, it just gives them an extra dose of confidence. I feel a little more confident now. It's like after you put your makeup on in the morning, except now it's all over your body. <laughs> Excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. All right, let's look at it. Oh my god. Is that a good oh my god or a bad oh my That's god? A great oh my yeah. god. I love it. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Very elegant. Oh my god. What do you think? I love it. What do you think? You look like a Dallas Cabo cheerleader now? Getting closer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was really nervous at first, but after everything was all over with, it's very subtle, very natural. I love it. Definitely feel more like a cheerleader now. Ah. What do you think? It looks really good. Yeah, yeah I'm like excited. It. They cut about three inches of dead hair off, <laughs> which I needed. Oh, I love it. So pretty. I definitely want Kelly to walk by me and say, I think that girl can look like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I think she can be on the field. I just didn't think, who, who is this? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't recognize you. Ooh. What do you I think? I love it. I yeah. love it. It looks so much more natural and healthier. I definitely feel like I'm one step closer to being a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. <laughs> That looks beautiful. Thank you. I love the color this time. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. I think my makeover went very well. I love that my hair is shorter and I think it looks a lot healthier. See how we brought it up from about here? And I just think, you shake your hair a little bit around. See, it just dances better because now it has more swing and you know, it just, you have like commercial hair, you know, it's like. Oh, I know, it's. Shiny. Well, I didn't realize until today, she has beautiful, thick, shiny hair, swingy and it's vibrant and she definitely is gonna look more unique now and that's to her advantage. Bye. Today is rookie makeover day. I think today is a fun day, but I think it's also a day full of I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on over, Mackenzie. The rookie candidates come to our salon, Premier Atelier, and we dissect their hair, their makeup, skin tone to root tone and everything in between. Are you excited? Yeah. Nervous? Nervous. You have no say in what they're going to transform you into. You ever been a redhead? No. 
I am definitely not finished enough to have the DCC look. You know, right now we all always think your hair looks kind of dirty. Her hair looked kind of processed, kind of trashy. And she's got that red streak she's in. We want to transform her in every sense of the word. I think you should be a brunette. Cool. I really Sounds do. Good. I love change, so I'm very excited. Wow. I have been growing my hair out since five years ago. I'm hoping that they will be easy on me and just give me a trip. <laughs> Callie, you've got all kinds of stuff going on in color. Once you dig into the back of their head, you see what their real hair color is. It's it's a discovery. <laughs> They're this cool. Those are cool. Yeah. yeah, so take them out. I know that nobody comes out of here looking worse, so I'm excited to see what they're going to do. We'll fight? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this should be interesting. Hopefully they don't, you know, do something drastic. You probably won't believe this, but I've never had my hair cut at a salon. My sister's either done it or, or I have. Mm -hmm. I can you can that. tell. I've always thought Ika was pretty, but she doesn't have that girl next door look yet. It looks kind of messy to me right now. She has the girl last night look. Hi guys. <laughs> I just don't feel like she needs all this. It just, it looks, you can tell it's extensions. It looks that way, and I think she's prettier enough to carry something kind of Reese Witherspoon short, Jessica Simpson short. I think Taylor's is challenging makeover because her little head is just full of extensions. Beautiful eyes, a beautiful face, and she's just been hiding it behind all this hair that's not even her own. She needs a really um, edgy haircut. I've had my hair short before. I just never like it. <laughs> Everybody wants to feel pretty. Everybody deserves to be pretty, and today's the day that helps them kind of own that. Ready? Yes. All right. Are you excited? Yes. Oh my gosh. The hair birch. I look so different. The whole process was really fun. Um, they put a little bit of color in my hair and cut it and gave me some tips on makeup, so it was great. Are you ready to see the magic happen? Yes, I'm so ready. Not that we had to do that much. <laughs> You know, a lot of girls, they come in and they look great, you know. And we're not going to just do makeovers to do makeovers. We do makeovers the way it's actually needed. They cut about three inches off of my hair, and I think it looks great. All right, let's look at the new you. <laughs> Whoa. I know. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. <laughs> I love Taylor's makeover. It's exactly what I'd hoped for. I hated it so much. Now I just need a Harley to drive home on. <laughs> like I wanted to just like run away. Yeah, it looks really good from the side. Yeah. I think her makeover was incredibly successful, but I think she is still afraid of it. All right, cool. I like it. <laughs> if I were to get cut, I, like I may it. come straight to the salon the next day and get some new extensions put in. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Ta-da! I love it. It's a completely different me, and I love it. I love it. I mean, I'm just, I'm proud. Literally, when she walked around the corner, I didn't recognize her after her hair color. That's a different girl. I feel fantastic. You look now more beautiful, not trashy. Thank you. Today's a rare day of beauty and glamour and gloss. Tomorrow's back to the sweat and stress of the dance studio. It's rookie makeover day, and I'm super excited but nervous because you never know what they're gonna do to you. Hi, how are you? Today is the day where we look at each rookie candidate individually and help kind of design the best hairstyle, cut, and color for her unique look. Today is a really
really, really big deal. I think it's the next step to becoming a DCC. No, I could see her actually really be a brunette. Colin, come on. I'm excited. I'm a little anxious. I have no idea what they're going to do to me, but I don't know. Mostly excited. What if her whole style was redone? Transform me. This is a very important day for these ladies because it's they've got complete focus from myself, Reiner, and his yep. team, and this can establish their look forever as a DCC. I think we should make a brunette. I think she should be a pretty dark brunette, actually. Does Black. she have? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. The DCC look is diversity. When we go through the day, it's very, very unique to the individual girl's skin tone, her eye color texture of her hair. Her look is unique to her. I think a successful, great makeover absolutely gives any woman confidence. And confidence can fuel a lot of great things. Are you ready for your new look? I'm ready. All right. A DCC. I love my makeover. They darkened my hair. They gave me lots of layers and framed my face. And your eyes really pop out now. Yeah, and it's, just, it's like a softer look. It makes me just more excited about the whole DCC process. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Definitely looking forward to dancing as the new me. I love it. I have so much more confidence with my hair and my makeup, and I just feel like I look more like a DCC now. She's all grown up. Look how much prettier that looks. I can't wait to dance with it. Look at it now. I definitely think my hair is going to help my dancing. I think that it's good flip hair, and so I think it's going to dance well and move well. Are you ready for your big reveal? I'm ready. All right. Oh my god, it's so much darker. It looks good. I love my makeover. I'm, I'm so happy that they kept the length and you know, they really just made it a little bit more rich in color. It's a little bit darker. I, I definitely see a difference. Um, so I'm really happy with it. But see, now you can see your eyes. I think it just looks a little bit more sophisticated, like the overall look. Today was a fun day and an important day. And tomorrow we'll get back to the drawing board and get back to turns, kicks, splits, projection, showmanship, and hardcore dance. It's makeover day, and I cannot wait to get a DCC look. Abby. Hey, Abby. Whatever they want to do to my hair, just going to tell them to go for it. We can just text his tea, some of that. Today, Johnny and I will have a consultation with each individual girl. That's your natural color? Mm -hmm. That is the thickest head of hair I think I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> There's always some nerves, some anxiety, but some changes can really affect someone's chances making the squad. Look at her curl under there. Oh, I'm naturally curly. Hair. Okay. Well, she's got this wave in here that I, she's been hiding. I want to see Paige's natural curl because there's something that I've always said is spunky about her. Hi, Ashley. Ashley. Oh, no. Yes. Uh -huh. Got a lot of hair in there. Yeah, there he is. She has friends in there. Oh, wow. Make it's two types own. of extensions. Wow. I think with Ashley, we need to get rid of the extensions. I've always noticed something kind of heavy and wig-like on her. I think so. It almost feels like mannequin hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll say shorter and let it get fuller. If I didn't like the look, I probably wouldn't say anything, but I definitely have anxiety. It's like hair surgery. <laughs> Scalpel, sponge. You have to go in there with scissors and cut the thread. That's a lot of hair for one person's head. Have you ever colored?
braid your hair and your little lash? Never ever. Okay. Completely natural. Good. We could take you in any direction. I mean, I think she could take something vibrant. I was thinking red. I think red makes green eyes pop. I do feel a little anxious. I've never colored my hair before, so any new color will be an adjustment. Does your husband <laughs> like redheads? Because <laughs> he's just about to be married to one. Hi. Hi, Janelle. Nervous? No, excited. <laughs> Janelle's look had such diverse opinions from our judges, and that is a makeover needing to happen. She has a longer face, so what I what I would think is taking quite a bit of length off, and we're going to bring it up. It'll shorten it up a little bit to where it, the attention's not all right here. When uh, the stylist told me that she wanted me to have a short bob, I got a little bit of a fright. See, with this length right here. I think we all were a little taken back. She was clearly getting nervous, and I was getting nervous for her. It just wasn't totally feeling right. Is there anybody on your team that would debate this? Anyone would debate this? First of all, I don't think that just because you can do short hair, you should do short hair today. Okay. She has amazing texture. Can I touch your hair? Yes, please. Okay. She has amazing texture if you don't layer it. It could be right here. It's enough change, but it's not gonna take that romantic sexiness out of her look. So Love you. <laughs> give her short pieces here. Give Derek her jumped in to save the day and save some of my hair from becoming a really short bob, so I really like Derek a lot right now. Let's let's get her an IV. <laughs> and then get her in color. We managed 17 makeovers and now comes the fun part, the results. I love it. I love it! <laughs> this is me. Paige was more than a surprise. She was a shock. You did have curl. Oh my gosh. The fact that she liked my curls is amazing because it takes me 20 minutes to do, which is a lot easier than the other styles. And this is just, it's just me. Double high five? Yeah. <laughs> when it's lighter, I can whip my hair around a little bit more, and maybe it'll help me be bigger and dance with more personality. Whoa! Wow. I'm a little redhead. Yes, you are. Let me stare. Oh my gosh. Don't you feel like I should have been redhead? Like, yeah. Since birth? I think Courtney's makeover is great. If her dancing doesn't demand attention, her hair now will. Janelle needs a good makeover to make this team. This is critical for her. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he cut 10 inches off. I was very brave. And then he opened up right here. I like that. See, I like so that. Kind of... Yeah, and you need to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So. I love my new look. At first, I was a little overwhelmed. It's going to be tricky for me to replicate the exact thing at home, but hopefully with a bit of practice, I'll get there. <laughs> I like this. I think this is the right decision. Okay. I think this makeover has helped Janelle's chances of making this team, and now I want to see her dance. Good job. Oh, thank you. One of my favorite days. I can handle it. Change is good, right? Change is good. This is when we take all the rookies into Halcyon Days Salon and Spa and we look at their hair and their makeup, and this is the day of changes. I think she could be a sexy and Margaret Red. Totally. Ooh. It truly can improve their chances of making the team. I think we want to shade darker. Do you think it would look fiercer darker? Definitely. Then I want it to get harsh. I don't want her to be soft. Like, no, yeah, she won't look goth or anything like that. This is their ticket to looking like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I think I need a little bit of work on my look. Alexandra has worn this style of hair for three years. I don't know, we'll see what they have in store for me. I'm a little nervous. It's always just look like a lot of heavy hair, and it doesn't seem to move. First of all, I think we should remove this unit. 
<laughs> I've never seen a wig come off, so I'm kind of nervous with her. Granny Kelly, you're getting ready to see the nightmare on the hill. <laughs> sorts of new phrases, weave queen. They said they were gonna remove her unit. This was Alexandra. <laughs> we're very invasive. We're just lifting up hair and splitting it in the back and looking at roots and asking questions. There's four colors of hair going on. Of course I'm a little nervous. I just don't know what they're gonna do. Are you afraid of color? It's because I've never done it, but I am not a hair person and I will admit that firsthand. Your hair sucks. I'm gonna curl it. Just today you decided you're gonna curl it? Fix the hair. That was a little shot to my ego and to my confidence. I've honestly just been waiting for that professional help. Yeah, it helps her with her fullness and all. Yeah, that'll be nice, okay. All the judges saw was yellow, yellow, yellow. I've always been blonde. I've never been any other color. Her hair is as yellow as a highlighter. Can't wait to see what they're gonna do with my hair. Hopefully it's nothing. <laughs> this is like a horse's tail. You think we should take it all off? The brown bob. <laughs> We're just kidding. But definitely darker. Look oh, at that. Wow. Oh, this would draws beautiful. Oh my God, that looks amazing. That would send you in a shock. I think so. <laughs> Being blonde. That brown. You're looks high maintenance. I think her hair, it's very yellow, and I don't think it's doing her any favors. That gives you kind of an idea. Roger, the stylist, and Kelly decided that we are going to go brown. It's crazy. Now comes the fun part the results. One, two, what three, two. The salon was awesome. <laughs> a great makeover result will give a girl more confidence. It's an immediate self-esteem booster. Oh, oh, isn't it gorgeous? I'm really excited. It's the first time I've ever colored my hair, so I'm a color virgin. That sounds so weird. Alexandra's makeover was one of the most complicated makeovers I've ever been a part of. This is critical for her. Kelly was, she was lost for words. Girl! I can actually feel my scalp, my, my head is lighter. I think this is a better look for me as far as trying to make the team. I think this will increase my chances. Ooh, wow. She's the Dallas Bond. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love the color. Kitty, how does my hair look now, you know? Lauren's consultation was the last one of the day, and it will be a visible change. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Lauren. Oh my God. Wow. She literally looked like a different person. Is this your vision? Yeah. It comes to life. She may be in a little bit of brunette shock, you know, when she sees herself in the mirror. I don't really know how I feel about it right now. It just it looks a little different. differently. Yeah. Today's makeovers, I'm really excited. Training camp has been really tough mentally and emotionally, but today is just a fun day. We have a common denominator in everything we do, which is we pursue world class. And that's true in dance, and it's also true in hair and makeup. Um, I definitely want to keep her, make her more of a Dallas blonde. Um, as opposed to an East Texas blonde? As opposed to a little bit East Texas blonde. <laughs> how, how do you define that? In Dallas, we, we like more of an icy blonde. I'm from East Texas, and so is Waze. We had a familiar joke about overprocessed blondes that sometimes it happens in small towns. Can you take care of an East Texas girl? We got this. Okay. We got it. We put them in the chair. 
and we immediately just kind of start digging through their hair. And you can find all sorts of secrets back there. You can find what her true, natural, God-given hair color is. Like you can see the depth of the color. See that? It's pretty, though. You might find an extension that's taped in, glued in, pinched in, beaded in. Are these taped? These are taped in. Tape in. Yeah. We peel back those layers of the onion and see what God gave her. Look how much gold she has in her She's natural beautiful. Mind. This isn't your typical little small town beauty parlor. This is one of Dallas's finest full service salon and spas. Are you thinking red? Ish. Ish. I am. I Are like, you? Yeah, I'm thinking reddish, brownish ish. I'm honestly open to anything. There's nothing they could do that would shock me. I was thinking we need to lean her more towards the eyebrow color. I yeah. love exactly what you're saying. Okay. She's got a really good base to do like a deep chocolate brown. Okay, come here, I want to show you this floor. Okay. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Claire, can you come lay down on the floor, please? Come here. <laughs> Don't trip. The gradation of tones in that floor is what I want on her hair. I like that and that highlight. This is my 25th year as director. I've never laid anybody down on the floor to match their hair to wood. Claire, did you ever think we were going to design your hair after a floor? No. But I'll do it again. If they want to shave my head, they can do it. All right, Roger, this is Jax. Hi, Jax, how are you? Hey, good. Jax needs a makeover because I've had a lot of kind of questionable comments about her appearance, specifically her hair. Okay, so what would you do with her hair? Brush it. Shake it. To me, her style just looks dated. Okay. You know, nothing's going Who on. Who taught you how to tease your hair? Um, myself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I started at training camp, I was trying to tease my hair. You know, I'm thinking the bigger the better. She has yeah. fine hair. She needs a little bit more sex appeal. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time to tease, you'll teach her. I will show <laughs> her. A softer yeah. shade of teasing. Yes. Of course, I've been trying to teach you that too. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline needs a makeover. This is important for her. I don't know what Kelly wants done with my hair. I know she doesn't want this. Since auditions, we said, if we change her hair and we change her makeup, she might could make it because she's a good dancer. Well, I'd hate for her to go home just because of her look, because that can be changed. But it's in your hands. I, let's do it. OK. Right now, she looks like a little girl in a bad black wig. When I show you like that, does, I mean, do you know that that's on your head? Does it look darker when it's not is on your head? Dark? She it does look darker. Wow. I mean, because it's too hard. It's it's almost goth. Well, hell, go ahead and take her blue, and we'll call her cowboy. <laughs> I did not realize how far away from the DCC look I was. Her, we brought her up into a Dallas block. Love to Dallas, the color. How about cheers to East Texas? Yeah. Now that I look the part, I'm absolutely ready to dance the part. All right. Oh. This looks so fierce. I got a little zest right now. I'm a redhead. It's time to bring out the sassiness. Wow, it really does make your eyes pop. Redhead! Your wooden hair color is a reality. Awesome. If the makeover isn't successful for Madeline, it could be the stop sign for this training camp. There's your new hair. Holy cow. Nice. I love it. A successful makeover like this definitely gives us hope where there was doubt and could buy a girl more time. I love the tones with her eyes. Yeah. We are at Tangerine Salon, our official hair salon of the cheerleaders. In our dance studio, we try to elevate their level of dance, and in the salon, we're trying to elevate their level of beauty. Wow, stunning. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi. So, Marshall, you remember Jessica from oh, Auditions? Yes, I do, of course. Marshall is the creative director and manager of the Dallas location. He also was one of our judges this year. I really, really love the dimensional color that you have it on the bottom, but when you're on the large screen, mm -hmm. having so much dark on top, I think it just comes across as a little almost too rooted, and I'd like to bring some of this blonde up. I'll make you a little bit brighter, kind of bring out the blonde. The Ricky makeover is definitely an important day. You know, it can really make a girl or kind of break a girl if you can't deliver with the DCC look. So um, it's a little bit anxious just to see what they're gonna do. It's gonna look beautiful. 
and that looks like a broom to me. A broom? Yeah, a broom. So Marshall and I go around to each of the 26 individual rookie candidates, and we look at them one-on-one, -on -one, and we start putting our fingers in their hair. Oh my gosh, I've never felt hair like this in my Isn't life. Isn't it amazing? Beautiful. And we're kind of talking about how we can enhance them to be just more beautiful and more glamorous for this role. Malibu Barbie, here's your Malibu. Here you go. <laughs> Did you want to change? No. <laughs> I wanted to stay blonde. This is a blonde fun. Hello, Miss Tasha. Hello. I'm a little nervous for her to get her hands on my head because it's not too pretty underneath. She, oh, does. she has friends in here. She does have some I friends do. in here. I wasn't blessed with the best hair, so the extensions definitely helped me. She could go dark. She really <laughs> could go dark. Oh, goodness. I've been blonde for, for quite a while now, so it would be very drastic to see me anything different. Well, what were you thinking? You know, I think if you gave me the opportunity today, I could make you love it. I'm crossing my fingers. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I know what I want. Red. Okay. Actually, <laughs> I had a couple different choices, and okay. I couldn't decide if I wanted to take her red or if I wanted to take her darker. So this so is this. the more extreme version if we were to go the all over dark. What do you think on that idea? Allie's already a strong dancer, but she could definitely use some wow, and there's a more dynamic Allie to discover. I think that's going to make her eyes pop. I never would have picked this out on my own. What do you think? I was like, oh my gosh. But they know what they're doing, so. Milan, we have been talking about you since round Day one. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this. Is that a good thing? <laughs> It was just hair, it looked gray to me. Like frosted, remember that old right. frosted? Oh, exactly. <laughs> and that can be changed, that can be. I personally felt that the coloring itself needs to go a lot warmer. Yeah. I think it's really gonna make you shine. A big change, I think. It scares me a little bit, and I have no idea what's in store for me, but I think I trust her with whatever she wants to do. Out with the old, in with the new. Now comes the fun part, the results. Oh my god. Oh, we went almost red. No, I love it. I feel like I'm wearing a wig right now. <laughs> oh Pretty. my gosh. I love it. I do feel like it brightens my face up and just like a pop kind of. Yeah. Wow. What do you think? Very pretty. Thicker. Oh my gosh, it does look thicker. You're a Texas blonde now. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is pretty. I love it. She's our spicy blonde. Yes. yes. I am so happy that they decided to keep me blonde and gave me some low lights. Just enough to make a little bit of a difference, but it just, it really is just a lot more natural and fuller, and I just want to whip my hair out. <laughs> A makeover can make you pay attention to a girl. A makeover can change her appearance so much that she's like a new wow in the room. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I haven't been this dark in a while. Each makeover is very specific to that girl, and there's always going to be a few surprises. Wow. <laughs> Kelly, what do you think about a natural? I love it. Isn't it yes. We're at Tangerine Salon today. It's an important day for the rookie candidates because it can change their destiny in training camp. Let the makeover begin. I think it's almost just as important to have the DCC look as it is to actually be able to perform as a DCC. Hey, Alexandria. This is Marshall. Marshall, this is Alexandria. Hi, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Marshall's been great at being the creative designer of the overall look. She's a really pretty natural. Mm -hmm. She has a nice golden blonde up here. I was kind of thinking two ways, either taking it darker or bringing this back up. Marshall and I have this oh, sure. near scientific consultation. We're digging through their hair. We're finding oh, roots cool. and we're discovering natural hair color. Is this kind of your natural color right here? A little bit. It's, it's kind of more of a sandy brown. So you're not afraid of color, huh? No. <laughs> we're looking up close in the light at their eyebrows. Look up to the mirror. Their yeah. eye color is paramount to me. And it's from that combination that we decide which direction we need to go. I do hope that they keep me blonde. I love my blonde hair. 
hair. And the one thing that would make me kind of like uneasy a little bit would be a shortcut. If I don't like my look, I would never tell Kelly. I would pretend like it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Once you take it up to around that level, it will bigen everything up. I don't bigen, is that a word? I don't think In so. Texas it is. <laughs> it is, it's a big one. You bigen your hair, yes. Yeah. Hi, Miranda. Hi. I've had my hair like this my whole life because I like it. I like this color. I like this length. Everybody in my family has long, dark hair. It's kind of our thing. And so it's going to be interesting to see what they do. There's something just a little too much. Is it too full and too dark and too long? I agree with that. I would really, really like to see, just first off, what it looks like without the clippings. And is that okay? Of course. To start with? Yes. I mean, some with people feel like they have, if they have more hair to throw around, you know, it enhances the look. You do I not mean, mean that. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God, your hair is thicker than any head of hair we felt hair. today. <laughs> so why does she need those? I know. Oh, put them on your dog or your cat or something. <laughs> hey, Savannah. Hi. I've had this color for about two years now. I really have no clue what they're going to do to my hair. Okay, I know what I want to do. Uh -huh. Thinking black. Yikes. I'm thinking more red. More red. Now this is your natural, this little, it's not. No. Nope. Now you can see real close. <laughs> Part it right up in there. Wait, wait, we're looking at Stephanie, we're looking at Holly. We don't want either of those two palettes for this red. There are 50 shades of red. <laughs> Making me over, giving me the DCC look, I hope. I don't like you. No, I love it. For the actual length, I don't think she's taking off that much. Miranda was talking about her hairstyle is not chopping off her hair, and all of a sudden, <laughs> a huge piece of hair just dropped on the floor. I thought we weren't cutting that much off. <laughs> If we don't successfully complete the DCC look on each one of these candidates, then it could affect whether or not she makes this team. <sighs> oh my gosh, I love it. That is like a true, beautiful ginger. It really looks good. Look at her eyes pop. I love it. I feel ready now. I feel ready right, to hit the DCC field. Ready? Yes, definitely. <laughs> With a full day of hair, color, cut, and conditioning, the girls are going to go to a wow glamour girl when they walk out. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. This is amazing. It is. That's wow. I really love it. I think I'm in love with it. Sneak over day. <laughs> It'll make me blonde. This is one of the most exciting days in training camp. This is when we will bring all 24 rookies through Tangerine Salon to make over their look that could be their look for the entire season. Excited to see what they're gonna do. Today we will have a very intimate and intense one-on-one -on -one appointment with each lady. We will be digging into their hair, looking at the roots. So you can start to see where the natural is right there. Looking at the ends of their hair. Some of the ends, I think, are getting anxious. Yeah. Feeling the texture. Wow. Okay, something, <laughs> some residue's in there yeah. for sure, right? And you kind of see what God gave them and then try to enhance that. What dose of glamour can we do just to accent her eye color? In my head, is it dark? Darker, richer, redder, or all three? I think all three. Caroline's gonna have to get her glam on. Right now, her hair's kind of in a medium, mousy brown stage. She needs more vibrancy in her hair. And I think if we get the color right, her eyes will just be enchanting. She's gonna wear hair up in a cap anyway, because now you're gonna be a nurse? Yes. Right? Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Did you brush your hair today? I just, I came with it all natural. It <laughs> looks bit. like the scarecrow. <laughs> Hello, Jalen. Hi. I've had a lot of thoughts about this, I actually. <laughs> I really love my red hair. It's just something different, kind of like stood out from everyone. I just fell in love with it, and everybody else always has liked it, so I've just kept it this way. We've talked about your hair since auditions, and everybody agrees it's too violet. Okay. It's a little severe for this kind of bouquet we call the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'd like to see more of a pretty gingery red, an Irish red, something that kind of brightens you up, but doesn't distract from how good of a dancer you are. Thank Thank you. I feel like I'm getting glammed up right now. I'm cooking right now, waiting to get a little bit blonder. 
Okay, tell me, Jay, is that, that's a part of the phase, right? And at the corner of my eye, I saw this like orange hair and I turned and it was Jalen and I was like, oh my gosh, her red has gone wrong. Is that phase or final? Because if it's final, we messed up or it's Halloween. Yeah, this is Ooh. color stripper. Okay. We stripped all the violet out. This is what we now need to actually put a new color on to tone the right <laughs> shade we want. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jalen's getting a color correction and it's a lot um, of chemistry. We told her we wanted less extreme and we just <laughs> plugged her in. For the cheerleaders in training camp, it's so important for them to feel beautiful and today is a day to help them achieve that cosmetic confidence. Oh my gosh, I love it. She has iconic Texas hair. Everything's bigger in Texas. Beauty is a part of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders image. And a lot of times that is in the form of a good cut or the right color. Oh my gosh. You look like a Glamazon. This will enhance Caroline's presence in a room. I think she's going to stand out and be glamorous where before now we were kind of calling her plain. Gosh. <laughs> it's like very different. It's, it's really still strong. Different. It's strong. Yeah, feeling really good about the makeover. I do feel like I'm much closer to really owning in that DCC look. Honestly, we had some dramatic and successful makeovers, and I'm excited to show Judy, and I'm really excited to see how the girls respond actually in the studio and in the locker room. Slightly nervous just because I have no idea what they're gonna do to me. We're at Tangerine Salon at the Star in Frisco, Texas. Before we have show group auditions, we're going to have rookie makeovers. And then you curl it. Uh, I just feel like just standing still, your hair would dance. We start talking about makeovers at the audition process, but today when we really get literally our hands in their hair and Marshall has complete focus, the decision to just start becoming really clear. This is a very important day for the candidates. We have five people that will be released from this roster, and if at the end of today we're not successful at helping her find glamour, then that would play into the final decisions on training camp. What would you say if we remove some of the hair that was hanging so much so you put more horizontal width in there? Okay. It'd make her instantly famous. No one's gonna forget this. I can, I can bring it back. We're kind of having a slightly serious discussion about taking her to pigtails like one of our most famous cheerleaders in the 70s, Tammy Barber. Everybody knows her. She was kind of all game for it, even though we were really teasing. Well, maybe the pigtails aren't for you. Okay. okay. I'm a little nervous because they could do just about anything with my hair. I'm just hoping that whatever they do will help me stand out. I think you're a beautiful redhead, but I do feel like I think we can do more. Shayna has always gotten my attention, but she has not gotten the eyes of our guest choreographers. That concerned me. Shayna may be a perfect example of how a makeover can really make a difference in her career here. We're gonna remove all of these extensions. We do that with acetone and a pair of pliers. When he said pliers, he scared me. <laughs> so, this one's Carmen. You can color her, do whatever you need to. I'm okay with anything that happens today because honestly, I mean, these are wigs, so it's easy. Lace front, and this is what yes, you have right now. that's what I have right now. Cat brought in two other different cat looks. This one's Nikki. This one, I don't have a name for her. Not everyone understands mm -hmm. what it takes to maintain these on a regular no basis. Yeah. Do what color you need to, and that way, I can have this with the backup. Perfect. I've never been to such a glamorous salon before. I got two people working on me like a celebrity. This is definitely the most drastic haircut I've gotten, but excited to see the end product. Oh my gosh. Last time I hair this short, I was six years old, so I keep pulling at it. Oh, hello, sunshine. Look at that. We've been asking more power from Madeline. If she really likes the way she looks, she might possibly be able to translate that into more powerful dancing. I hope so for her. have been very good today. They're all very effective and hopefully the overall confidence and wow factor in the room will be elevated. I feel older this way. It makes me feel like a woman. 
Oh my gosh. It's so fiery. I love it. Yeah, I do too. Shana's reveal is quite dramatic, and hopefully today she's a step closer to being a standout. I'm really excited for show group auditions to show off my new hair.